Despite hopes that the government bailout plan would prevent another financial meltdown, world stock market indexes fell sharply around the globe. Analyst Ray Carbone of Paramount Options says there is growing fear that credit problems in the U.S. are spreading. Well, it stems from the financial crisis that started in the U.S. and now has worked its way over to the Eurozone and it probably working its way over to the emerging market of China, India and the Middle East. On Wall Street, nervous investors sent the Dow Jones Industrial Average below 10,000 points for the first time in four years. Speaking in Texas Monday, President Bush asked for patience to allow the rescue plan to work. It's going to take a while to restore confidence in the financial system. But one thing people can be certain of is that the bill I signed is a big step toward solving this problem. On Capitol Hill, lawmakers were trying to get to the root of the problem by grilling the former CEO of Lehman Brothers, once the fourth largest U.S. investment bank. Some say the panic set off by the firm's collapse in September prompted the Bush administration to come up with a $700 billion rescue plan, which was approved last week. Congressman Henry Waxman, who chairs the House Oversight Committee, scolded Richard Fuld for steering millions of dollars to departing executives even as his company pleaded for a federal rescue. Fuld has reportedly earned $480 million in compensation since 2000. It seems that the system worked for you, but it didn't seem to work for the rest of the country and the taxpayers who now have to pay up to $700 billion to bail out our economy. Fold took responsibility for the company's failure, but defended his actions in the weeks leading up to its collapse. Based on the information that we had at the time, I believed that these decisions and actions were both prudent and appropriate. None of us ever gets the opportunity to turn back the clock, but with the benefit of hindsight, would I have done things differently? Yes, I would have. Fold blamed read. sensational media coverage and fearful investors for pushing his company over the brink. The government allowed Lehman Brothers to fail, only to bail out insurance giant AIG the following day. Millar Sega, VOA News.